the T ratio defined S sub big Y squared equals 1 over N minus 1 multiplied by the sum uh, from I equals 1 to N of open big Y sub I minus big Y bar close squared. It is called the sample variance, uh, which is a consistent estimator for sigma squared or variance. Uh, we can estimate uh, SD open big Y bar close equals square root of var open, uh, excuse me, equals square root of var of big Y by uh, standard error of big Y bar equals S sub big Y over the square root of N. It is called the standard error. The standard error is an estimator uh, for the standard deviation. Uh, for the estimator. Uh, for the hypothesis testing, we use the T statistic or T ratio. T equals big Y bar minus mu sub big Y naught over S sub big Y over the square root of N. The central limit theorem, the distribution of the T statistic is approximately N of 0 and 1 if the null hypothesis big H sub naught uh, is mu sub big Y equals mu sub big Y naught is true. It is true regardless of the distribution of big Y. We reject the null hypothesis mu sub big Y equals mu sub big Y naught in favor of the alternative uh, big H sub 1 is mu sub big Y not equal to mu sub big Y not when the T ratio T is uh, less than or equal to negative 1.96 or greater than or equal to 1.96 normal distribution it is very rare equals 5% that a big N of uh, 0 and 1 distributed random variable is less than or equal to negative 1.96 or greater than or equal to 1.96. If the T ratio T is less than or equal to one point, negative 1 1.96 or greater than or equal to 1.96, it is hard to believe that the T ratio is approximately N of 0, a big N of 0 and 1 distributed. Why It is why we reject the null hypothesis that mu sub, sub big Y equals mu sub big Y not in favor of the alternative big H sub 1 is mu sub big Y not equal to mu sub big Y not when the T ratio T is greater than or equal to negative uh, 1.96 or greater than or equal to 1.96. The p-value in the hypothesis testing problem we used the fact that with a small probability equals 5% a n open uh, 0 and 1 close distributed random variable is less than or equal to negative 1.96 or greater than or equal to 1.96. The p-value is the probability that a big N of 0 and 1 distributed random variable is less than or equal to negative approximate uh, negative absolute value of t or greater than or equal to the absolute value of t. We're doing that line. The p-value is the probability that a big N of 0 and 1 distributed random variable is less than or equal to negative absolute value of t or greater than or equal to the absolute value of t.